Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is The Tempster. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add bloom to your scenes in Blender. So this works for either Blender Render or Cycles. What you basically just need is an or a scene with some objects that give off light. So emission objects. So over here in the materials tab I have an emission here and same over here and then just basic diffuse material uh, objects in the foreground uh, if we render it will render it out, it looks pretty boring but with the bloom effect it sort of gives the edge of the character a glow from the background so the colors from here get sort of added onto here. An example of this is in the Blender Open Movie Project and Elephant's Dream when they are walking through this door and you have this uh, background here that is giving off light and if you can see the edges of the door here and the edges of the characters they're sort of illuminated uh, by this light. So uh, basically what we need to do is once you have your main scene here, so right here I just have two uh, emission planes and a cube in the foreground which is like the character uh, you need to open up a new window change it to node editor or you can go up here and change it to compositing whatever you want uh, then we're going to press N to get rid of that and down here click scene use nodes and first thing we're going to do is press shift A then we're going to go under converter and select color ramp. We want to set that uh, somewhere around there, so in between around the A and the C. Again you can probably tweak that afterwards to match the image but I just found something around that worked well. Then I'm going to press Shift A and we're going to add a blur and uh, just fast scorsion worked well. And you want a fairly large blur radius so maybe 60 by 60 and then we're going to press shift A again and this time we're going to add a mix node uh, join them up, you can click alpha if you want I don't really think it makes a difference then we're going to join these two up and in the factor here we're going to join up the color ramp um, I, th I think they're the wrong way around yep, there we go so you might need to play around with those till it works right and now if we press F12 we get a sort of nice glow effect. I don't really think you can see the blue very well but uh, you can definitely definitely tell the yellow is there. So that's how to get the main effect working. Again we'll go and put in a random image so if I just click open here go into my downloads and just choose a random image so maybe that forest wallpaper uh, it can really be anything and we just oh we'll have to add a scale so under distort add scale render size join the two up this is just to make sure it renders out the same and then we're going to join this one to the input of both and if that worked out and we press F12 then it will do the same to that one image. Now you might sort of like the look of that but you might want to add a bit more character to it so sort of change uh, the color of the bloom and stuff. Go ahead where this blur is and we can press shift A and under color select uh, color balance and click in there, join it in. Otherwise you can add a color correction but I prefer to sort of work with it a bit more visually I'm just going to use this and then you want to say if you want it more yellow you set them all to fairly yellow values I'm guessing this one should be a bit darker but yeah then it sort of renders out a bit more like that and looks a bit nicer now if you want to uh, sort of increase the radius of the blur you can just turn the blur up and it makes the bloom a bit sort of increased all over the image a bit more Again, if you want it more isolated, you can turn it down, and that will change it up a bit more. There we go. That's how you can add a bloom to any image at all. Uh, probably you can add it to m movies as well, and yeah, also any scene 
works with this as well and you can customize it with the uh, color balance here. So there you go guys, now you can add bloom to your movies or images or uh, renders or anything you want to. It's a really awesome effect and yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, feel free to leave a like or share it. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. But yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.